Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage tutorial video. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Contra entries work on Sage. This is Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 Accounts. Contra entries are for when we want to allocate purchase invoices against sales invoices or vice versa. Generally, it's used for an entity that is both a customer and a supplier. So the invoices can be allocated against each other rather than funds exchanging hands. Okay, so on the customer module here, I've added a customer called Book001, Bookkeeping Master, Customer. On the supplier side, I have Bookkeeping Master, Supplier, Book001. The references are the same and the names are very similar just to make this video easier to follow but there's no reason why the names can't be completely different so the names don't have to match on the customer and supplier side in order to do a contra entry and you'll see that a bit later on as I go through this so with bookkeeping master customer if I just record a couple of invoices here so let's do one for let's do 300 pounds euros dollars it doesn't matter and let's do another one here Let's do this data a couple of days ago, and this one is going to be for a thousand pounds, euros, dollars. That's net plus the VAT. We'll save those invoices, and let's repeat the process for our supplier. So, bookkeeping master supplier. Let's record a couple of invoices here. We can do one for three hundred, the same as the customer. And let's do one date on the 20th of February. Let's try that again. Oh, my keyboard is acting up. Okay, there we go. And let's do this for just 100. So we now have two purchase invoices on the Bookkeeping Master Supplier account, balancing 480. And we have two invoices with 1,560 on the Bookkeeping Master customer account. So instead of transferring 1,560 um, or from the, the customer to us, so instead of them paying us 1,560 and us paying them 480, what we can do is allocate the invoices against each other and then whoever owes the balance can just pay that balance. That's what a contra entry is. The contra entries is up here. So on the supply module, it's up at the top here. It's the same place on the customer module, contra entries. If that icon isn't showing, you might just have to right click and tick on contra entries because it could be hidden. Same with the supplier side, you can just right click, click on contra entries. So it could be that it's not showing. Just right click up here, find contra entries, tick it. It will then show at the top. If it's not showing in this list when you right click, it's likely that your Sage version doesn't have contra entries, so you'll need to upgrade your Sage package in order to get that feature, the contra entries feature. Okay, so let's give this a go. It doesn't matter if we use the customer side or the supplier side. We we'll could click on contra entries here. It asks us for a bank account, and transactions will show in the bank account, but they'll balance each other off. So we're not recording a payment. We're not recording a payment made or a payment received. We're just using the bank account for a debit and a credit transaction. And I'll show that to you at the end of the video. We have our sales ledger, a customer module to the left. We have our purchase ledger, our supplier module to the right. We simply find Bookkeeper Master customer. So we're finding the customer and the supplier that we want to allocate invoices against. So we have Book001, Bookkeeping Master customer. Book 001, Bookkeeping Master Supplier. There's no reason why I couldn't do Cheese Factory or Concept Stationery Supplies or Mears Insurance. As I mentioned earlier, the references don't have to be the same in order to do a contra. But for most people, it will be the same name on both the customer and the supplier module. Okay, so we have our outstanding invoices. Only invoices that are outstanding are going to show in this contra list. If an invoice has been paid, it's not going to show. If an invoice is paid, it can't be used as a contra. 
So we have a 360 and a 1200, and we have a 360 and a 120. If we allocate these 360s against each other, they match, and you can see the totals down here are 360 each. So we're allocating this sales invoice against this purchase invoice, and both will be marked as paid in full. There's a contra entry, they're being allocated against each other. So all you do is go through, you might have multiple invoices here, just highlight as many as you like on both sides. Once you've highlighted the invoices on both sides you want to allocate, you just click OK, and the contra will be done. So if we go back to contra entries now and load up the same accounts, you'll see that only one invoice is showing because the other one is now paid in full, the contra has been done. Now what happens if you have a 1200 and 120? So the totals down here do not match. It will be a part contra. And when you click OK, it will ask if you want to do the part contra. So this 120 will be allocated against this 1200. Click OK. Do we want to do the part contra? Yes. Okay, so that's now done. So if we now look at Bookkeeper Master Customer, you can see we have two contra entries. We have a 360 invoice with a 360 contra receipt. We had a 1200 with now 1080 outstanding because this 120 contra has been allocated against this invoice. If we have a look at the supplier, we have two invoices and we have. So one, two, and we have the two contras down here. There's no balance in this account. There's nothing outstanding because this 360 invoice has this 360 contra. This 120 pound invoice has 120 contra. Now I mentioned a bank account. If we go to the bank account now and look at the activity on this account, you can see that all these contras entries match each other. We have both a debit and a credit side. So it's not actually allocating anything to the bank account at all. It will create transactions, but they balance each other off. It's just the way the feature works. Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. I can teach you so much about Sage and it's all for free. Just head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com or Google the Bookkeeping Master. Go to free stuff here. Scroll down to find the Sage button, click on here. There's so many courses, so many videos here that will teach you all about Sage, not just Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 Accounts, but Sage Business Cloud and other Sage products, all for free. Just go to this page, no registrations required, and have some fun. Thank you so much. All support is appreciated, so like, subscribe, leave a comment, say thank you. It really does help. Uh, this stuff is all for free. I'm sharing my knowledge with you, so all support is appreciated. Thank you.